golden end. We have a mandibular first molar tooth that is deemed non-restorable. Uh, we have a vertical fracture in the furcation area, and the patient has symptoms. So we're going to remove this tooth in preparation for a future dental implant. Now in so doing, we want to use some innovative tool, tools. We're going to use um, something called the Golden Dental Wham Key. The Wham Key is a really neat instrument that will help me remove the crown in this situation. We're then going to section the root and use the Golden Dental Physics forceps to atraumatically remove the mesial and distal roots as if they were two separate bicuspid teeth. We are then going to graft the site in preparation for a future implant. So we can see we have a tooth that was deemed non-restorable and we're going to remove this crown. Now conventionally to remove a crown you would take some type of burr and section the porcelain and metal um, on the facial aspect onto the occlusal onto the lingual then take some type of instrument to to um, uh, separate the mesial and distal part of the crown and remove the tooth, thus destroying the crown, which is, which is fine. You go through a lot of burrs that way. But here we want to demonstrate a little different technique. To remove the crown, we're going to use, again, a really innovative tool called the Golden Wham Key. And the Wham Key uh, is a series of three instruments, and you can see the shape of it. There's a little ball, so to speak, on the end. And we're going to use this ball to remove the crown without sectioning the crown in total. So you can see the unique design of the instrument. And what we want to do is we're going to make a um, preparation onto the facial aspect of this crown, a small elliptical hole, so to speak. And we're going to penetrate through to the occlusal table. Now, the question you may have is, well, where's the preparation? You don't really know where the preparation is, but we assume that the preparation of this crown is on the occlusal one-third uh, of the crown. So I'm going to make a, an elliptical opening in the facial aspect of this crown so that I can place my the ball of the wham key through that little hole onto the occlusal table by the central groove area and then simply rotate that crown off. This is a wonderful system, uh, if we, even if we weren't going to uh, remove this tooth, if we were just going to replace the crown, it's very, very innovative and allows, um, allows us to use this crown uh, as a temporary uh, in the future, which saves a lot of time. It's also wonderful for our new zirconia crowns or bruxer crowns, and trying to remove those can be very difficult. So making a small opening, as I'll demonstrate in a moment, is pretty innovative. So you can see we're going to make an opening in the facial aspect. And to do that, what I did is I just made a little marking to show you approximately where I want to prepare the facial aspect of this crown uh, so to be able to put the wham key ball into it and remove the crown. So I just did a little marker there to show you what I need to do. I'm taking my high speed with a, with a burr and I'm making an elliptical opening through the porcelain, through the metal, onto the occlusal table, or where I perceive the occlusal table uh, of this tooth to, to be present. We'll go all the way through, and you can see it's just a small opening. And again, if we were just going to re-prepare this tooth, it would be quite easy to use this old crown as our temporary restoration and just cover that hole with a little composite material. So I'm taking my wham key, I'm just placing it through the through the little hole onto the occlusal table and then just rotating my wrist and almost like magic this crown pops right off. So it's a very very innovative simple way to remove a crown in a variety of situations um, and uh, it's just a wonderful tool that you should look, look into.